that Ernesto Hust, yes. K1 legend, they sell, they say, do mm -hmm. you feel like a legend? Myself, I know people who call me like that. Uh, for myself, I'm not a legend. Uh, but I know that if you if you won K1 four times and uh, and everybody in the kickboxing world knows you, then you're then they call you a legend. I just quickly checked your uh, your record uh, on Wikipedia, mm -hmm. um, and it says 99 wins. What, yeah, did I you? Thought it was, I thought it was 100. Okay. I have to check where, is, where, the, where the other one, where, where the last one. Uh, of course, internet lies that's sometimes. Okay. That's okay. So, so okay. So you spoiled, okay. you spoiled my question <laughs> about okay. the hundred wins. Uh -huh. um, have you heard that uh, Joanna Jacek, your friend, your uh, your student, will be here as a as a commentator? I didn't know that, but I will be very happy to see her. Mm -hmm. Were you were you proud seeing her uh, being you know on on top, getting the belt? Well, I was very happy that uh, she contacted me before the fight uh, and uh, of course I contacted her back and, uh, and I uh, wished her a lot of success and good luck and everything and then after the fight I contacted her again to, uh, to uh, congratulate her and uh, she, uh, she thanked me and we, have, uh, we, have, we don't have so much contact but we have good contact and I'm very happy uh, and proud that uh, I have been little part of her preparation uh, to become champion, uh, and I will be very happy to see her. So you are you are uh, you are a coach uh, of Joanna Jędrzejczyk. Now you're a coach of uh, Tomasz Sara Sarara. What do you think of Polish fighters? Because obviously you can say that some nations are better fighters than than other nations. What I think uh, is, however, I say they have a lot of dedication. If I look at uh, at fighters like Thomas and and, and and Joanna, they will always give everything. Um, if I if I will tell them uh, jump uh, four meters high, they will do that uh, because they know I will give them the the right things to do. Um, so that's it's, it's very very uh, it's, it's a big pleasure to to work with uh, with Polish fighters. And with so many fighters in your record, were there any fights uh, that maybe you were not prepared for? <laughs> like, yeah, like you know, something happened, you didn't have time or energy or different reasons. Basically, no. There's one time uh, I fought with uh, the <laughs> legendary Dutch fighter Rob Kaman. Uh, Who? Excuse me. Rob Kaman, you know. Okay, yes. And they asked me the night, the night of the fight. I, I just came at home, I was still living with my parents and uh, they told me you have to call your trainer and then my trainer said you can fight with Rob Kaman tonight. I said okay. And then I did a fight but that's, that's the only time. I was always wonder about those two fights on your record, uh, the two, uh, two fights with um, the big guy, uh, of course, Bob, uh, Bob Sapp, of course. Mm -hmm. why, why do you think you lost those fights? You, you, you had so many great battles and uh, Bob these days is, is just much different fighter than, than he used to be when you when you fought him. Yeah, well, you know, um, the thing with Bob is that uh, um, I, I, I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to make a big story of it. Uh, they prepared him to beat me. Um, I had a bad luck that uh, that moment I was sick. I was forced to fight, and it all looks like an excuse, but it is not. Um, and then uh, he beat me, so that was the first time. The second time, um, three months later, I was still, the first time was still in my head. And I was too, uh, I don't want to call it nervous, but I was, I was, I was kind of making mistakes. Uh, I, I, I knocked him down the first time uh, and I really wanted to knock him down again because I knew the fight would be finished. And I was uh, over concentrated uh, why I couldn't make it the, the, the down. And then in the next round, he, he hit me a few times and the referee stopped the fight. Uh, those two fights are a black uh, spot on my, uh, on my career because I am very satisfied and very happy with my career. Apart from these two fights, those two fights, uh, I have lost uh, more fights. Um, but uh, the fights with Bob Sepp is, uh, yeah, really hurt me uh, in my career. And obviously I think that comes with age. When, when, when you, in certain age, you think that the new generations mm -hmm. are, are maybe more spoiled than, than the, the older ones. And, but mm -hmm. still, 
I believe those new generations are better fighters uh, than than the than the the ones before. Yeah. So, w what do you think of that? Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, what uh, is the reason? Because we know there there's there's an evolution going in in fighting, and and we all become better, and we all we know better. Uh, the 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 good fighters from before are trainers now, and they give their knowledge back to the fighters from from now. So they. And they have learned so much in the in the time they were were, were, were fighting and performing that uh, they know better how to to uh, prepare a fighter. They know better the tech, about the techniques. If I think about the things I learned in the fight, things that trainers didn't teach me, but the fight taught me, you know, and those things I'm I'm trying to teach uh, the fighters now. Uh, that makes that makes the fights and fighters better. And what do you think of the uh, kickboxing scene uh, these days? Is it are you happy or, un or unhappy the way it goes? I'm not so happy. Uh, in the time of K1, everybody was uh, looking at uh, at K1. Everybody wanted to be in K1. Now there is glory, of course, but glory doesn't have the the, the aura, the, the name uh, that K1 had. Um, so I hope uh, it will come back, the, the, the feeling K1 uh, left, because uh, Glory doesn't give that feel feeling yet, and I hope they will uh, somewhere uh, uh, in time, but uh, we don't know. And obviously the question uh, about Tomasz Sarara fight, mm -hmm. you think this will be uh, TKO, KO win for him tomorrow? Of course, I hope so. Uh, we will prepare him and basically I don't mind so much how he wins, if he wins, of course. If he wins in a good way, in a nice way, in a, if he wins in an in a entertaining way for the, for the crowd. For me, that's important. And if it's KO or points, for me, that's okay. Excuse me, one more question. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think of today's MMA? Are you, as a kickboxer, mm -hmm. uh, do, you think, do, you, do, you, do you accept MMA as a, as a sport? I like MMA. I like to watch MMA. You think it's going to be a future? For sure. Well, you know, I, I, I hope it's going to be a future next to, next to kickboxing fighting. And uh, I mean, they're two different things. And um, I think they can, be, they, they can be next to each other. Um, and I think the, the MMA can make kickboxing stronger, and kickboxing can make MMA stronger. And I, I hope that's, that is what's going to happen. And do, do, have you got any any idea about uh, what could be next after MMA? Because first we had like boxing, kickboxing, then MMA. I just I just can't imagine what could be next. There are so many crazy ideas like tag team fightings or any other you know crazy ideas. Um, um, I to don't imagine. know yet myself. Uh, I was thinking about the tag team fighting. But uh, you are maybe some about? kind of some kind of team fighting would might be interesting, you know, uh, teams against teams. That could be something new. Um, but uh, yeah, we will see. And actually, there's one more because uh, people said that uh, your shin balls were very specific. They were, they were very sharp. At least the commentate the, the color commentators always told this. I, is this true? This is the way your low kicks were, were so much effective. My shins always hurt after the fight. Uh, I think I think if you look good at my fights, then you see that my timing was very good. I, I trained a lot on my timing. Uh, there was a period uh, uh, that I was suffering a lot from my shins, and I was wasn't making so many low kicks. Mm -hmm. I was making a lot of high kicks. I was making a lot of high kick knockouts. And after I was training my, after I trained, start training my timing better. Um, I, I went back to the low kicks. Um, and yeah, that, I mean, kick, making a low kick is it's, it takes less energy than making a high kick. I like make I like high kicks far more than I like low kicks. Mm -hmm. It's far more beautiful to make a, a, low, a high kick knockout than a low kick knockout. But uh, as I became older, um, it was better for me to make more low kicks because uh, because of the energy. 
Mm -hmm. And you said the keyword uh, timing because yeah. uh, Tomasz Sarara also mentioned this when I talked to him uh, before you. Mm -hmm. And and at certain level, when you have a pro fighters like like Tomasz and all the other guys, what is the, the the key factor for you as a coach to to become even more pro, better than than the, all the others? You know, it depends. Uh, it can be it can be more things. It can be speed. It can be power. It can be timing. I think timing must always be good, uh, technique, uh, a coordination between the, the arms and the legs. Basically, you know, since I was able to do everything, I wasn't that strong, but uh, but I had speed uh, in, in the good day, in the good times. I had speed. I had uh, I had enough power. I had uh, good kicks. I had good punches. Um, I, I think the, the, the being able to do everything overall is the most important. Thank you very much for your time. Good luck for you Thank guys you. tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you.